Hi, I'm Benjamin Harding, and I'm joined today by Blair Benjamin, who's a registered piano technician with the Piano Technicians Guild. Thank you, Blair, for being with me today on this socially distant interview. We're going to be uh, talking a little bit today about how to sanitize a piano. And Blair, just before this interview, we were talking about maybe asking the question what to do pre-COVID and what to do post-COVID. And you said it's, it's largely the same process. That's right. It's largely the same process. It's just that now we're more aware of it because before you didn't really think much about germs as, unless you're a real germaphobe, which some people are, which is fine. Um, but now with COVID, everybody's thinking very aware about uh, – the transmission of and spread of and prevention of uh, viruses. So the things that you do to prevent viruses are largely the same because COVID is a virus. And so you want to keep them from spreading on your piano and keep yourself from getting it if possible uh, and so forth. So I have a number of do's and don'ts um, when it comes to cleaning your piano. We're going to focus mainly on the keys because that's the part everybody touches. That's where things are largely transmitted. If we're talking about cleaning the rest of the piano, the case, that can be a discussion for another day. I might give a few small pointers, but uh, largely we're going to focus on the keys today. So the first thing you want to do uh, naturally is you want to keep them from getting dirty in the first place. So before you sit down and play your piano or if you're a teacher and you have students, wash your hands. Soap and water, normal thing that you hear everybody talking about in the news, on TV, in school, whatever. Just keep your hands clean, which helps keep your piano clean because most germs are going to be transmitted through touching the keys. So, uh, and also when you're done playing your piano, just close it. That keeps it from getting dusty. Therefore, you have less to clean. So when it comes to cleaning your piano, um, there's, there's two components of that. One is to disinfect, which is to kill germs, and the other is to clean it, which is to remove dirt and grime and grease and things that might build up on there. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about both of those. With uh, As far as cleaning, um, there's several different options. Different manufacturers have different recommendations, so I'm going to go through a few of them. Um, but the simple of, of it is that you can just use common sense uh, soap and water to, uh, solution, mild dish detergent mixed with water uh, that you could wipe on the keys with, with a damp cloth. Like if you have a – and the type of cloth to use, you want to use like a microfiber cloth if you can get one of those. You don't want anything abrasive. Anything abrasive could uh, scratch things that it's not – you don't want to scratch. So a microfiber cloth is good for, for cleaning. And when you clean things, if you're using an aerosol, or not an aerosol, but a spray-based, like something like this, which is called Cori Keybrite. Keybrite is a cleaner that is made specifically for pianos. And if you're going to do that, since it's a spray, you want to spray it onto your cloth first and then onto there. You don't want to spray directly onto the piano because then it can drip and go places that you don't want it. And then when you're wiping it, you want to wipe in a, in a vertical ma manner mm. along the, the, mm. uh, the direction of the keys. Because if you go this way and there's debris on there, you might push it down in between the keys and it can go places that you don't want. So you just go up and down each key with a little bit of key bright on there, which is a cl just a cleaner, not a disinfectant, so that you can go through and wipe all your keys down and get them more shiny in the way you want them to be. Okay, so that's Keybright, and then you might, where, where do I get Keybright? Um, you could probably get it from uh, CoreyCare.com as the manufacturer, or hopefully your technician might be able to hook you up with that. If you, um, when they come to your house to tune your piano, which I'm sure you're doing every six months at least. Uh, you at can, least. At least. <laughs> sometimes more. Uh, a lot of technicians will carry this. I know I do. I carry these kits in my car. Um, like a, This is a four-part Corey kit, and this comes with Keybright as one of the components. And then a piano polish, which you would use on the case. And then a cleaning cloth and a polishing cloth. So it's a four-part kit that is made for distribution to in-home clients like yourself, potentially. And hopefully your technician could uh, provide that with to you. So that four-part kit you can either get from Corey Care. You might be able to find it on Amazon. I don't get it there, but maybe it's there. Um, and then you can use that to clean your piano. Um, don't use things like uh, Pledge or... Uh, anything aerosol based that can spray and you, that you lack control. Um, so you want to use approved products for cleaning, such as the Corey Care. Now, when it comes to disinfecting, I mentioned that you could use soap and water, but 
it's not really convenient to have soap and water by your piano mixed to you know mild strength to be able to clean you can also just use basic disinfecting wipes okay those those can be good for disinfecting they, they d disinfect pretty quick you'll use the same type of motion on vertically on the keys to wipe them down and that'll kill germs because it says right on here uh kills germs kills flu uh, cold and flu viruses 99 right. percent it's antibacterial wipes so, so those should generally be safe for your keys um, as, as an option. Those are quick and handy. So those are easy to use without having to do anything. Uh, manufacturers like Steinway, they may recommend using actually hydrogen peroxide, which you could dab hydrogen peroxide onto a cotton ball or, or cloth and use the same process, which will kill, uh, kill germs and, and, and bacteria and, and things that, uh, that uh, you don't want to transmit. Okay, uh, rubbing like alcohol is another option, or isopropyl alcohol, uh, not not the denatured alcohol, but actual rubbing isopropyl alcohol. Different types of alcohol. If you don't want to keep those straight, then just go back to the disinfecting wipes. Um, but alcohol can can be a, a good option. You don't want to use anything petroleum based, okay, uh, or citrus based. Now, citrus being the active ingredient, not the scent. You know, if you get a lemon, but if you stay away from scents, then you can. Uh, play it safe in that regard but don't use anything citrus based or um, petroleum based those things are bad nothing greasy that could that could be bad don't use any sort of wax or polish um, that's not made for pianos when you're when you're doing that and of course we said wash your hands keep them clean in the first place um, but use the approved cleaners approved cleaners like Corey bright alcohol um, hydrogen peroxide, soap and water, those are the types of things to clean with. So things you don't want to use, I mentioned that you don't want to use um, uh, uh, petroleum-based products, you don't want to use pledge, you don't want to use bleach or ammonia or things that could potentially discolor, um, and you don't want to pour liquids directly on the piano. You want to put them on a cloth and then wipe so you keep the, the moisture flow and content uh, controlled. Don't use solvents. Solvents could erode your finish. Things that could take away the, you know, the 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 finish or the paint on your pan. Don't use solvents. Um, so, and I mentioned, don't use pledge. Don't use aerosols. Okay. And another thing you want to do is keep food and drink away from the piano. You easily stick your drink right there while you're practicing, and then it spills. Then you have big problems because then it causes gets down your keys. It can do a lot of damage to your piano. So. I know a guy who did that once. So don't do that. So keep your food and drinks away from the piano, and then that's a good way to keep it safe, keep it clean, and keep it disinfected. And then again, when you're done, close your piano lid. And then uh, if you're a teacher, make sure your next student that comes in wash, washes their hands. Use some hand sanitizer. That's always good. Keep that. Keep a little pump of that by your piano so that people can sanitize their hands prior to using it. And that should help both with the transmission and spread of any virus and keep your piano nice and clean. Thank you so much, Blair. That was excellent information for all of us as piano teachers, as pianists, and as music schools. I'm the Dean in the School of Music at Cairn University, and we're thinking through how to keep our students and teachers safe in disinfecting our pianos appropriately. Blair, I've got one more question that came across the internet. Um, what about ivory keys? I know some of our uh, piano teachers and pianists out there have Ivory keys, and uh, what do we do with those uh, with those keys? How do we clean those? Uh, the processes are, are mostly the same, but more important that you stay away from the don'ts because if you have too much moisture in there, that can it can hurt the glue that holds your ivories down. The piano, the plastic piano, piano top keys or key tops are thicker, so you don't have as much potential for it to absorb through and disrupt the adhesion. Um, but ivories are very thin and a little bit more porous so that uh, if you, anything that could disrupt the glue hold on and there could be dangerous. But go with the safe options. Go with uh, mild soap and water applied to a damp cloth and just wipe them the same way. And uh, don't let water drip down in between. And uh, don't use any of those things that we said don't use, like the, the um, petroleum-based products or citrus-based products, anything that could bleach or stain or discolor or anything like that, because ivory is more susceptible to discoloration. This is excellent. And we're going to have the list of do's and don'ts listed in the description just below the video, as well as uh, promoting 
Benjamin Piano, which uh, Blair is head piano technician of. So if you're in the Philadelphia area or Bucks County area, I want to encourage you to get in touch with Benjamin Piano. Um, I use them all the time, and they're a fabulous company, uh, noteworthy service. You're going to want to uh, be in touch with Blair, and he can help you with any uh, piano needs. Blair, thank you so much for being a part of this video. I hope it's helpful for you, and uh, we'll see you again soon.